This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, we can move now. So, welcome back to Francis Studios Gaming, and today we're gonna play with the Stanley Parable. I haven't played this game before, I only know some things about it because I watched a couple of YouTube videos where I discovered this game. I know that I'm late to the game because it was like uh, hyped like a year ago or something but uh, I always wanted to buy this game and try it out and here I am let's explore the outcomes together because uh, I really don't know what kind of uh, things there are in this game so uh, I suppose we just have to go around all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, I can go to the meeting room. It's not a problem for me. If, if I would know where the meeting room is, but... Seems like I'm just following the open doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. On his left. But we have two doors open. What should I do now? Should I just go and This right? was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Mm -hmm. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, that, that was ah, my plan all yes, along. truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I mean, it, it's, there's nothing wrong with this room, uh, there's like a couple of papers in the corner, but... Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. All right, all right. But Shh. eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Should I go there? I mean... And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. I mean... you know what I mean? Whoa... Mysterious! But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, from here it's, um, left. Left. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Then go to the right. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Hmm. It's clearly... I don't know if oh, it's ironical. Or oh, he just doesn't know anything. Right, left, 
down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. Yeah. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Oh. Like a mail truck from the USA. Nice. Right, we go down. Whoa. No, 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 no. This isn't what right is at this? all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, it's close your eyes. Okay. It's all the locations. Okay. We, just, we just have to get back to... Um, what is... Oh. Who am I Who is this fire employee? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, oh, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Well, okay. And from the top. Four. All right. Well, we're back again. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. Yeah, I know what that. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? I did, did not. Did you move the story somewhere or a... No, I, I, I don't know. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. Yes, definitely you right are. here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's then an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Where should I find a story? Should I go here? Why is, why is here? looks like something from the Half-Life universe. <laughs> Where am I going? It's the back rooms. <laughs> it, it looks like the back rooms. It just... It I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you yeah. there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Oh, no. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Yes. But it's got to be better than this. It's okay, let's be. give it a shot. Why not? Thank you for the restarting. All right, it's our little room. Oh, we can press buttons. I hear the keyboard clicking. What All of his co-workers were gone. Yes. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Can press some keys, but nothing happens. Okay, let's go to the meeting room this time. I'm starting to feel that we are pissing off the narrator <laughs> quite a bit. What are the doors? Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Alright, let's go back. Username, access. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. This is just going... What? What? This is... No. Now this... Is... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Um, is this the story? Either. I don't, I don't think know. So. I can't yeah. quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? It, uh, mm. it was like that. Yeah. Do you remember, Stanley? Or well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! I did I! Congratulations! Wow, you thank you. A lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, thank good you. job. Thank you. Nobody said that before. Oh, so. no. no, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some what? people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. What if I'm it getting was? weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Uh, just another restart, but now we have All something. Alright, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Alright, I, I can follow the line for you. If that's what you want, if, if that's what you really, really want, I can follow the line for you. Is this leading you to see, a good... the line knows where the story is. Yeah, it's over yeah. in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. But it Look, feels... Here's a thought. Wouldn't it wherever something. we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? 
Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Oh, that, that was too philosophical. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. That's not the appropriate music. What is this? What is this music? Some adventure time music. Cut the music. Yeah. Go back and Thank look you. at that fern. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. How did no, it happen? No. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? <gasps> yeah, this is the office where, where our things are. But it's bad. We came back to here, but that wasn't our plan, I believe. We cannot get over there. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. All right. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Mm -hmm. It has 971, no, 73 leaves. It's uh, green and... Uh, okay, uh, did I study it enough? Departmental accounts, consolidation reports, annual reviews. It goes this way, but I cannot go there. Where, where, where should I go? What should I do now? Should I go back? I don't know what can I do now, <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, there's a computer. Or it just turns off. Oh, no, 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 it's not again. again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, oh, I can't take this anymore, to hell with it. Restart. Yeah, it's very easy to restart a game, narrator. It's... You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're Nothing. intelligent people, right? You're right. Why can't we make up our own story? Of Something course. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply yeah. start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? All right. If you describe it like now, this... Yes, this is exciting. Yeah. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, Together. a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go Why wild. are we going Use in Use your imagination. Circles. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Yeah, but this is an empty... Oh, we can go there. Why? Wow, it was like a non euclidean space. All right. Uh, oh, no, not you the again. Line again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. All right. No lines or monitor rooms. Just oh. don't acknowledge it. We All right. We should be fine. All right, I, I don't follow the line. You tell me where to go. Well, why is it going up? All right, uh, I don't need lines. We can make up the Ah, story. a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. Is it so really I what I have to do? Each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. Well, so starting, starting from the right, get let's sick. ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Oh, confusion. what's this? Hmm. What? Hmm. The, the confusion the ending. Room end up You're in the telling monitor. me that's what this what? is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? The narrator is gone determined? after a long time Stanley dies. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? 
Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this... this... thing... wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I... I don't want it to be. I... I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, oh. I don't want to forget what's going on. I understand. I don't want to be we like are this. in the safe situation with the, the narrator. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't yeah. do it. Yeah. You denied it. What, 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 what happens? What, what's happening? What's mean, happening? Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? The time has stopped. That's a good sign, ain't Will someone come for us? Will something happen? We are in the same situation, so, Mr. Narrator. Okay. You don't want to do what I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you yeah. agree? Yeah, it's a story. I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... If The game is restarted and it wasn't a narrator. Just as I told, we are in the same shoe with the narrator. He's told to do things, what he doesn't want to do, and he tells me things that I don't want to do. That's quite an interesting... Uh, All of his co-workers were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Yeah, I know this Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, let's go to the meeting room, Dan. Let's go to the meeting room. I'm not against any good. So let's go to the meeting room. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go on the left, then. Here is the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh... <laughs> this is so many hidden jokes and things. This game is amazing. Oh, it's closed. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Right, let's go upstairs to my boss's office. It seems like Stepping it. into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. <gasps> and so the boss had assigned it what? an extra secret pin number. Why is that? 2845. Two, but of course, eight. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. No way. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons yes. on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This is like... Isn't it a map from the CSGO? One of the underground passages in CSGO. It's, it's very similar, but that, that was just a fun fact. Maybe it isn't intentional. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. This seems like a hard decision here. Do we go to the mind control facility or the escape? Let's go for the escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Will I meet my violent death at the end of this tunnel? Should I turn back? No, no, I'm decided I have to go this way. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around Are and get back on track. Freaker. 
No way. At this way. point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly yes. confront his death. N what death? It 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 isn't. It's the escape. Why is this? But it, this seems. This seems bad. I don't want to jump down there. Should I jump down? Let's see. Oh, this wasn't too bad. I don't know. It wasn't As too the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. No, it's, 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 it shouldn't be the end. What? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. That's sad. No, we are not... We are not dead, we can walk. Oh, you f And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Hmm. This is quite philosophical, isn't it? Nature paintings. Oh, this is this is our office. We go there. This is the first office. We go there, and this is the two doors situation. That's quite interesting, isn't it? This is a desk. The doors. Button sounds. Employee lounge. Underground. There's the escape and the facility. Alright. Uh, it's a dead end. We cannot do anything there. Let's go up here. Freedom ending. There's... <gasps> oh, it's the list of endings here. Countdown desk. Alright, freedom ending. That's great. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. No, this... No, 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 as long this as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose... All right, we are dead. <laughs> That's uh, to put simply. All right, I had to restart the game because I thought that was it. It no nothing happened after this scene. So, if I understand correctly, this is about me and the narrator de depicted as a relationship where we need each other, but we still fight. And the woman narrator is a higher level narrator who oversees me and the narrator. So like, to put it simply, the narrator is like a half-god who controls me, who wants to control me, 
but I am a man who doesn't let anybody control him. And there is the woman who is above all, who doesn't want to control me or the narrator, but still oversees and controls everything. So that's it for today, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and if you did so, please leave a like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. Have a very very beautiful day. Peace out. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and if you did so... Stan is stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far he's doing excellent. And if he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work.